All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. And peace and blessings to the elect, sincere Akim out there that's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. All right, Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's name, who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh, and Jehovah. Uh, Yahweh Shai is the one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And uh, Rakakudash meaning spirit holy. All right, this lesson is going to, uh, well, I'll just, I'll just uh, jump straight into the scriptures. I'm going to start with uh, Ezekiel, the third chapter, starting at verse 1. All right, and it says, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll, and go speak unto the house of Israel. All right, and that roll represents the scripture, all right? Because throughout the uh, scriptures, throughout the Bible, the uh, the the word, you know, the holy, the Bible is represented or uh, compared to dip many different things, you know, wine, water, and one of them being the bread. All right. <clears throat> so when he says eat this roll, he's talking about you know, uh, uh, food for thought, you know. And then he says, go and speak unto the house of Israel. Because that's what's required of us. Whenever you get this wisdom and knowledge, it's a, and it's expected of you to teach, all right? You know? Verse 2, So I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat, and fill thy bowels with the roll that I give thee. Then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness, all right? Because that, that's how it is in this thing. You know, when whenever you first wake up to the fact that you're an Israelite, uh, uh, you know it's sweet, man. It's a sweet message, cause you know you're 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 looking for the answers. You know, like why the hell am I uh, catching all this hell? Why am I in the situation that I am? You know, what what's the real truth? You know, you you might go to church every Sunday, but that you still feel like it. There's more. And, and, and you're still seeking something, and then you finally find out that you're an Israelite, and you find out the meaning of life, and, and, and it's sweet, man. You're, you're the prince of the power. You're from a certain tribe. Uh, 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 you learn about the kingdom of heaven. You know? Hey, man, it's sweet. All right, but, but check this out. <clears throat> uh, this is Revelation chapter 10, verse 9. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up, and it shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. Because when you first hear it, man, it's sweet. But in your belly, as you digest it, uh, 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 and, and you go out and start prophesying, you, you start teaching Israel, it's in, it's in your belly bitter. Because you got to wait. You know, you got to be purged. It's not just a... You understand it's sweet and then it's over with. No, man, there's a process to it. You know, you still got to catch hell. You know, and, and and that's why I'm making this video is because, you know, lately for like, you know, a good three months, man. Like, it, it I haven't, it, it's been a different kind of hell that I've been catching ever since I came into the truth. Because when I first came into the truth, you know, I, I was, you know, going back and forth with my parents and family. Uh, I've been kicked out of my house a few times. Um, you know, I was in high school and, and, and uh, some some of the other, uh, I don't want to say kids, some of the other uh, students, you know, treated me differently. They kind of poked fun, called called me Muslim, Jew, uh, you know, not not like bullying, <laughs> you know, but you know, I was just like kind of an outcast, you know. But that, that's how uh, many of the Lord are in this thing. You know, we're looked at as strange aliens, you know. But, uh, you know, I've, I've been catching like this different kind of hell. You know, the, the most high threw a curveball on me, you know. Because me personally, uh, when, when people come up against me and they, they want to just throw like, oh, you're wrong, you're this, that, you know, it's very easy to just, you know, make my head strong against their head but uh this was more internal hell 
Like I've been battling these different thoughts going through my head. Uh, and, and it's really weird and that's been bitterness. And I, I, I want to make this video as like a, a you know, uplifting kind of thing. You know, wh whatever hell you may be catching, man. But, uh, you know, this this has been different because, you know, I, I wake up in the morning and I don't want to do shit. I, I don't want to, you know, go to work. I just want to lay in bed. And I'm barely making it to work on time or roll in a few minutes late. And, and it, it sucks because that kind of mentality transitions over and into the truth. And I don't want that to happen. So, you know, you got to, uh, uh, you know, practice what the scriptures say in, in, in their walk of life, you know. But uh, verse 10, it says, And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter, all right, so, you know, his stomach was burning, basically, spiritually, um, come on now, all right, um, it's like you, uh, this is Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 9, actually, I'm going to start up a bit, um, Uh, I'll start at 8. All right, it says, We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. All right, we're, we're troubled on every side. So, you know, we financially, uh, uh, you know, your, your own household comes against you uh, at the job site, at school. Uh, you, can't, you can't sleep at night. You know, you, you, your feet, your back hurts whenever you go out and prophesy and it feels like time is moving slowly. All these thoughts come into your head. You know, you're having nightmares. Uh, your demons are fucking with you. All kinds of stuff, man. But it says, uh, we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. And that's that's something that you got to keep in mind, man. Like, yeah, we catch hell, but what, like, what the fuck can you complain about, man? You, you still have the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of Yahweh Bashim Shai. You, you're still breathing, so you can still teach, man. And, and I, I remember this one time, um, uh, I was really sick. This, this wasn't too long ago. This was probably like three weeks ago. I was really sick, man. Like, for a good 12 hours, I was just vomiting. My stomach was contrasting so hard that I was almost shitting myself, you know? And I couldn't drink anything, and I got so dehydrated, uh, 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 my kidneys were uh, burning. Like, my back was, like, hurt. It felt like uh, my muscle, like, my lower back muscles, like, I couldn't get comfortable at all. I couldn't sleep that night. And this was over, uh, you know, the, the Christmas break, so-called, the de demonic folly day. Um, so it was like the only time that I, I got a break from work and I was sick. I was like, fuck this, man. But, you know, it, it's a good thing that that happened to me because that's, that's what keeps you humble in this truth. And it's through the spirit and power of you, how about Shimon Shai that I made it through it. You know, I didn't give up, uh, 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 on, on the Lord. You know, I prayed to, to the, to the most high. I, I told brothers to pray for me and they prayed for me, I asked for scriptures, they gave me scriptures to calm my spirit, you know, and I got through it, man, because, yeah, it, it sucked, I, I was on my, on, on that bed, vomiting over and over, you know, dehydrated, my, my skin was cracked uh, the next morning from how much uh, water I lost, but, uh, but I, I'm here now, man, like, I, I'm not sick anymore. You got to remember that this this life is temporary. You know, what does Romans uh, 8 and 18 say? I'll get it real quick. All right, it says, uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 18. It says, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. And that's that's so beautiful, man. 
Because the glory that, that's, that we meditate on hasn't even been revealed yet. We can't fathom what, what level we're going to be on, man. So whatever bullshit you have to go through, whatever, you know, sickness that you're bearing, whatever uh, uh, demons that you have to deal with, just deal with it, man. You know, just be patient. Um, uh, this is, uh, this is Sirach chapter 2 verse 4. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. And be patient when thou art changed to a low, low estate. Be patient when you're, when you're going through that shit. Just know that Yahweh Hashem is going to uh, get you through it. Be patient. Take it cheerfully. You know, like, like uh, have a positive attitude when you're going through shit. Because once you get in that negative mindset, that shit will consume you. That's a demon hopping on you whenever, whenever, uh, 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 you know, oh, I had, I had a bad day at work today. Uh, so fucking what, man? You don't think these regular two-third jakes are going through a rough time at work? Suck the fuck up, man. Suck it the fuck up. You don't think other brothers, other other uh, uh, other members of the elect of Israel are going through hell? You don't think how shy had to go through hell? This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But the Most High is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. The Most High is going to put hell on you to the point where you're going to fall out the truth if you are of the elect. And you got to believe that wholeheartedly that you're part of the elect to make it through. Because the elect are going to have that faith. The elect are given that faith, are given that strength. But we'll... Um, it says, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. You know, the Most High will always provide a way for you to get through some bullshit. To get through that temptation. And guess what, man? That That's what builds character. That's what's uh, making us that gold, man. It's just something that you gotta real, cause, cause that that's what makes the best movies. You ever go to the movie theater and, and you're like, damn, that was a good ass movie. It's because what what happened. You know that the the guy uh, made a huge comeback, or he started from the bottom and he made it. You know, all odds were against him, but somehow he fucking did it. Shit, especially the war movies, man. Like Lone Survivor. Shit, I remember. Uh, I watched that movie and then I watched uh, a speech that he did. And man, that speech was like 10 times better than the movie because he, he described what really happened. He, he like took away the uh, whole Hollywood uh, magic and he, he, he just like told you straight up what, what was going on. And man, that, that shit, you know, I encourage brothers to look, look, look that up, man. Forget what his name is. But, uh, the the speech is like an hour long, but he he went through it, man. He had to watch his brothers die, and then he was shot up. He was paralyzed from the waist down, and he crawled through. Uh, uh he he crawled like seven mi seven d seven d miles, and he he thought that he was at the point where he was gonna die, and and what he did was he he created short term goals. You know, like, he, there is, he's like, the closest village is, like, 70 miles away. So what he did was he made a mark in his in the sand. Like, like he reached out as far as he could, made a mark, and he said, if, I, if I'm if i still living when my feet passed it, you know, um, you know, I'm, uh, like, I'll, I'll do it again. I'll take a, you know, five-second breather and do it again. And he did that over and over and over until, until he got to the village. But that's 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 the mindset that you have to have in this truth. You know, take it a day at a time. You know, Yahweh Shai said, uh, think not 
about what tomorrow brings. You know, let let those worries be uh, for tomorrow. You know, you got to take it a day at a time. And sometimes you you can't see the, the end of the day because you don't know how it's going to turn out. But you got to, if you can't see the end of the day, man, just get to the next, you know, break. You know, worry about this minute. Try to get through this minute. You know, that's what I did uh, when I was sick, you know, because I had like a 15 rest uh, period. And then uh, whenever I felt that nauseous coming, I was like, okay, here we go. I'm just going to power through this next uh, uh, dry heave session, throw up session. And I couldn't breathe for like five minutes because I was dry heaving. I was just throwing up and nothing was coming out. And then when, once it stopped, I was like, okay, I can I can rest now. I can. This is my rest period. You know, but that uh, that that's all the scriptures I had. Uh, with that, I hope this video was edifying. Till next time, uh, Shalom, Call Alon, La Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, Bag Babal, Shalom.